During the summer last year, I spent some time investigating some modifiers to thermite compositions. I was doing this as a continuation of an experiment I started years ago in which I was attempting to create handheld thermite cutting rods. I thought by increasing the burn rate of the compositions, I may have more success because the thermite would be able to transfer energy more quickly, cutting through the target material before heat could disperse. I went through many trials using several grades of aluminum powder, as well as sulfur and magnesium additives. Some of these compositions worked better than others, but ultimately I was disappointed in the results and scrapped the idea in favor of my Thermic Lance project that I posted a few months ago. Not wanting to give up on thermite quite so easily, this past week I've been doing a few more tests. I welded up a quick and dirty stand to hold my target material. The first thing I'll try is a pretty straightforward test of the basic thermite composition. I have a 1 8 inch steel plate which I suspected would not put up much of a challenge. A scrap bearing race will contain the thermite's flow to the center of the plate. This tube contains about 300 grams. Surprisingly, it did not burn through. Though the back of this plate glows bright red, even this amount of thermite was not able to penetrate what I considered to be rather thin steel. It seems that thermite is talked up quite a lot for its effectiveness at melting through steel, but in reality it falls kind of flat. I also tried one other composition called Thermate. This differs from thermite in that it's made from the same basic components of iron oxide and aluminum, but also contains a secondary oxidizer, barium nitrate. This variation is used by the US military to decommission artillery and things of that nature. But in terms of cutting power, it too failed to burn through 1 8 inch plate. Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat behind the scenes look into the experiments that often inspire my project videos. Be sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below, and thanks for watching!